guys be you. I'll be me. <laughs> Sounds good. You guys, listen, we're going to dive right into this here today because uh, Zooming with me today is a good friend, super pro, uh, fishing god. Am I playing this up too much? Uh, it would be... <laughs> Brian Schultz and his better half, Rose, is in the house. <laughs> How are Hi we guys. doing today? Hey, we are <laughs> rocking out. And the reason why I wanted to have a chat with you is because we've got a lot of levels of things to talk about, including uh, the fishing world right now and getting out there. But also the crazy names coming up here uh, for Bass Nut Lures. I mean, it starts with calling it Bass Nut Lures, people. So you know where his head is. <laughs> <laughs> in a big way. But first, hey, Brian, can we talk a little bit about the fishing planet right now? Normally, you and I, we would be going to maybe a couple of fishing conventions and then getting on the water. Is it weird uh, now? Are you experiencing anything when you go get your bait, when you go get uh, something to eat at a convenience store? What are you experiencing? Well, um, actually, uh, to be honest with you, Dave, uh, what both Rose and I have been noticing, and, and we've been out several times already, that... Um, People are respecting the fact of of the situation with the the COVID virus, and they're all keeping their distance. And people are being so aware of everything. But everything seems to be going well at this point, including even going to the boat landings. Um, you know, you you run into friends or people that know you, and uh, it it certainly seems like they're respecting that. Cool. Hey, are you running across any protocols for, you know, uh, when you do go to a boat landing, you know, you're putting, a, putting your boat in and you're going to go fishing. Any, anything where they've said anything to anybody uh, about doing things a certain way because of the pandemic? Uh, absolutely. Uh, not at all at this point. Um, to be honest with you, uh, I know for a fact that uh, there have been probably two to three tournaments already uh, this season ran on Lake Wassa in the Wassa area and it went off without a hitch um there was no issues um uh authorities drove through and everything was uh it, it seemed like everything was good for them wow see I would prefer to do it with a hitch you know hitches come in so handy <laughs> <laughs> <World -tiny. laughs> <laughs> well, with the video that we saw the other day on Facebook with the guy that never unhitched his trailer with the boat, I mean, he, he was being super, uh, I don't know how you want to put that. <laughs> Dude had to go. I mean, he could not wait. Yeah. Can I take the trailer with me? Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. He might have started a new craze. We never know. <laughs> you never know. You never know. Hey, and another thing about going out and going fishing is that, uh, and it's not COVID related, but it's it's uh, weather related, is that I always notice there's no such thing as a normal uh, weather pattern. Are you noticing um, that we're just having just your regular unruly roller coaster of odd weather or uh, how's it how's it for bass fishing and all that kind of stuff? Um a lot of the a lot of my pro staff that have been out have been doing extremely well uh but again they've been out on the good days with the the good sun and uh water temps warming up now uh rose and i went out saturday we hit two different bodies of water and we ended up only getting one fish the total day but again, now with the conditions the way they are, uh, we went up to a lake uh, up towards the Anago area and uh, water temps were extremely lower than what I anticipated. Uh, and then I, uh, I decided to go over to Lake Mahaskin in the Tomahawk area. And um, again, the water temps were in the, about the same range, but it, it was, it was kind of, a cool deal that we went from a lake condition to a river condition and the water temps were pretty similar but in the river condition you're going to have more success because of the flowing waters um the stained water because we're the first uh lake that we were on was an extremely clear lake and it, it's a cold it's a cold water lake yeah. And we were targeting uh, largemouth, uh, northern, and basically uh, crappies. Uh, and it was just pretty early yet. So, um, and also the weed growth wasn't up as high as what I anticipated also. So, 
Uh, Rose, do you find that it's uh, one of the most fun things in the world to just smoke Brian when it comes to fishing sometimes? <laughs> you know what? Last year, I totally kicked his butt in fishing. And he, he should admit that because he knows it's true. So far this year, um, I've gotten my butt handed to me. I haven't been able to catch a fish to save my life. Like my daughter told me, I lost my mojo. So I don't know what the hell he did to, you know, like put a trance on me or witchcraft or something. But I bought her all the equipment. That's why. Hey, there you go. That's got to be it. You know, the first but, thing uh, yeah. No, um, on the lake that we were at on uh, Saturday, um, the one over by Anago, I did have a really nice northern follow through, but he was like two feet from my lure and he just, he wouldn't nab it. The water was just too cold for him, but the size of him in the water was, I'm it's like, probably the 40 inch range. Yeah, so. he, he was large. Yeah. Wow. He was really large. Excellent. Wow. Hey, and you know, let's talk about that, trying to get them in the boat, you know, and, and trying to get them to, uh, you know, come your way. Um, I always notice, you know, Bass Nut Lures is a great way, actually, to lure fish. Thus the word <laughs> lure. Lure. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And so can we talk about uh, some uh, great names? Because out of everything that you've got at Bass Nut Lures and all that, I mean, the name is the killer. I just, I, I laugh out loud and then I put it on my hook. And so, you guys, can we talk about the process and naming, uh, you know, what you guys sell? Absolutely. Um, so, Bass Nut Lure started out as a name way back when because uh, uh, my 30 plus years of fishing, uh, once I got into the tournaments, everybody kept saying, boy, you're just nuts for bass. So, I reversed it and said Bass Nut. And uh, once I realized that I wanted to, you know, start uh, selling lures on a normal basis. Uh, it, it just took off from there. Yeah, crazy. Well, and when you are in a tournament situation, is it easy for you to yell out what you need or, you know, somebody else is in the boat? You know, it's almost like being a surgeon, you know, instead of, you know, quick, hand me a scalpel. It's quick, hand me a wiggle, whatever, you know. And <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> well, or, uh, uh, there might be other uh, precise words for that. It depends how many fish you've missed already. So Right. Yeah, exactly. Well, you've always got to be at the ready. I mean, it's like a NASCAR pit stop when you get into it and you're trying to, you know, get your act together. I, I mean, I've, I've been down that planet. It's really an incredible uh, thing to see. But in um, uh, the world of uh, naming them, can we mention a few for Bass Nut? Or the other uh, thing that you got going is Chunky Monkey. Correct. Um, this year, uh, we have expanded our line um, to be more diverse for um, the walleye, crappie, and panfish people. And Rosie and I have started uh, a new division called Chunky Monkey Baits. <laughs> and with that being said, um, we're probably going to have five or six uh, different uh, type lures. Uh, we have a uh, for uh, bass nut lures, I have a three and a half inch um, minnow style bait called a swimster. Well, on the chunky monkey side, we have a two inch baby swimster and uh, similar in colors, uh, both very effective and they can be used for bass just as well. Hey. Uh, but uh, new, some of the new product for uh, bass nut lures is a three and a half inch tickle bug. Uh, that's more of a creature style bait, which is uh, mimics uh, the crayfish because uh, targeting both large and smallmouth, uh, they both they both will uh, uh, trigger from that kind of a creature bait. Man, so you find a log to start casting? Absolutely. Here come the tickle bug. I can see it. Now. <laughs> you know, though, I I have to say that my absolute favorite out of that whole line right now is the lot lizard. Oh yeah, why? <laughs> oh. My gosh, because you know what? Those little creatures, they will pull anything out of that water. They will get the attention of the bass, like, like no tomorrow. Hence uh, the name, Lot Lizard. <laughs> oh, you know, so, you're pulling a swordfish out of a lake up in uh, Angola. Going, I didn't know they had swordfish up here. Oh, my God. So that, that's another new product this year. We did test it last fall, and uh, – had huge success with oh, yeah. the uh, six inch lizard. And, uh, you know, you, you gotta wonder, 
you have to wonder sometimes uh, sitting here uh, what I'm thinking as as I'm trying to uh, come up with all these names. Sometimes it's scary, and I and I you know and I bounce it off Rosie also, and 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 a lot of the pro staffers too. So. Yeah, see, I wonder if it's easier to come up with uh, names of fishing lures, drunk or sober. Your thoughts? Well, he doesn't well, drink. So. I don't drink, but oh. you know what? Yeah. So what I need to do, Dave, is you and I, we need to get together, and I'll mm -hmm. have I'll have a seltzer, and yeah, and then we'll come up with this, this game plan of names and go from there. I'd be Thank afraid. You. Game I'd on. Be afraid. <laughs> You know, because it's a fun thing to put on a business card is uh, Bass Nut Lure, Lure Namer. <laughs> yeah. What I want. I like that. Yeah. Lure. Yeah. I like that. Come I on. Like dreams that. come true. <laughs> That'd be huge. Well, I'll have, we'll have to get a jersey that says Lure Namer on the back. Yeah. 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 You're thinking. There you go. You are still thinking. Galloway. Lure Namer. I'm ready. I mean, just, uh, yeah, that needs to be a meeting. That needs to be a thing. So, so once you once you come past the certain achievement, then you're the master lure namer. Hey, ta-da! I'm in. I'm in. This is you know everybody has hopes and dreams, and uh, yeah, I think this is going to definitely be. Uh, it's got to be the next thing. It's the next level. I I like that. See, this is this is how you get things rolling, and this is how uh, you got his mind spinning. Yeah. yeah. See? Yes. Big time. Oh man. Well, you guys, uh, we had a great time chatting with you. And uh, Bassnet Lures, everybody, and Chunky Monkey, don't forget. You'll need Chunky all of Monkey. it in your boat. Chunky Look Monkey. at that. <laughs> what an incredible logo, right? <laughs> yeah. Somebody yeah. asked if they took that off me, and I, I, was, I wasn't offended. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, wait a minute. I resemble that remark. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. You guys rule. Hey, listen, great to spend some time with you and uh, doing this whole Zoom meeting. I just ate it up. And so uh, we have another vlog in the can. And so good luck on the water because uh, hey, that's where I'm probably finding you most of the summer. Yeah, oh, yeah. We're, we're hoping. Definitely. We're definitely hoping. So, yeah. And Dave, we will stay in touch and we will get a date together here soon. And uh, we'll, we'll roll and we'll have some more uh, video and, and fun. How's that? Oh, we won't have any fish left out in the lake. I'm so sorry, everybody, but we're going to go. <laughs> Well, trust me, the competition is still on here between him and I, even though, you know, I'm totally stoked right now, <laughs> but it's, it's still on. I mean, we got till October. Oh, so. see, there you go. You got time. That's right. Make it happen. Oh, oh I ran on it. Trust me. I don't care what I catch as long as it's a fish. <laughs>